Welcome to the wonderful world of sewing with the MemoryCraft 10,000, a truly remarkable sewing machine that blends ease of use and the most advanced computer technology. We will show you how easy it is to use your new MemoryCraft 10,000 and how you can create an endless array of beautifully crafted garments and home furnishings. Professional style embroidery, patchwork, and quilting are all yours at a touch of the full color visual touch screen. Your MemoryCraft 10,000 is the most advanced computerized sewing and embroidery machine on the market that makes sewing craft more enjoyable than you have ever dreamed possible. This instructional video will show you the basic operational procedures along with new exciting features to be found on your MemoryCraft 10,000. First, let's connect the power and the foot control. Switch on the machine. The power switch is located on the right side of the machine. When you have switched on, the opening window will appear on the visual touch screen. After a few seconds, the screen will change to the ordinary sewing mode and the straight stitch is automatically selected. Simply touch the key on the screen to make your selection and press the functional button to operate the machine. It's as easy as that. Gently slide the hook cover release button to the left and remove the hook cover plate. Lift out the bobbin. Open the top cover, raise the spool pin, and place a spool of thread on the spool pin so that the thread comes off the bottom of the spool. Then place the spool holder on the pin with the flat side against the spool. Hold the thread with both hands and press it downward into the slit marked number one. Guide the thread around the thread guide following the broken line with arrow. Pass the thread through the hole on the bobbin from the inside to the outside. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle and push it to the right. The message bobbin winding will appear on the screen. Hold the end of the thread and press the start stop button. When the thread has wound a few times around the bobbin, stop the machine and cut the thread close to the hole in the bobbin. Press the start stop button again and continue winding the bobbin. When it is fully wound, the machine will stop automatically. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the left Cut the thread using the thread cutter and remove the bobbin. Now, place the bobbin into the bobbin holder so that it winds off in a counterclockwise direction. Guide the thread into the notch and to the left, sliding it into the tension spring. For your convenience, the hook cover plate has a diagram of the bobbin threading printed on it. Replace the hook cover plate. Ensure the presser foot is raised and press the up-down needle button twice to raise the needle to its highest position. Look at the threading chart on the left side of the top cover to familiarize yourself with the thread path. Take the thread from the spool and hold it taut with both hands.
press it downward into the slit marked number 1. Guide the thread around the thread guide along the solid arrow marked number 2 towards you. Continue drawing the thread downwards and turn up around the point number 3, then draw it up to number 4. Slide the thread into the take-up lever from the right to the left and draw it down to the lower thread guide marked number 5. Pass the thread behind the lower thread guide and then behind the needle bar thread guide on the left. Your MemoryCraft 10,000 comes equipped with a fully automatic needle threading device not available on any other sewing machine. Press the Auto Threader button. The visual touch screen shows the threading path while the threader lowers automatically. The hook on the threader comes out through the needle eye from behind it. Pull the thread down around the thread guide and then pass the thread under the hook from the right to the left. Draw the thread into the slit of the thread holder from the bottom and up around the thread cutter to cut the thread end. Push the auto threader button again and the thread is automatically pulled out through the needle eye. To draw up the bobbin thread, hold the needle thread with your left hand and press up down needle button twice. Pull the needle thread to pick up the bobbin thread. Draw both threads to the left and under the foot. During normal sewing operations, the pressure dial should be set at 3. When sewing fine synthetic fabrics, stretch fabrics, applique or cut work, the foot pressure should be reduced by setting the dial to 2 or 1. Let's look at the visual touch screen. There are six mode keys on the bottom of the screen. Ordinary sewing key, professional style embroidery key, PC link key, open file key, my setting key, and quick help key. After turning on the machine, you will see the welcome window and then the screen shows the utility stitch window in the ordinary sewing mode. The ordinary sewing mode has five sewing choices available plus a new unique feature, the sewing application. From the left, the utility stitch key, buttonhole stitch key, satin stitch key, decorative stitch key, monogramming key, and sewing application key. The utility stitch window shows that the machine is set for straight stitch with a center needle position. In the utility stitch window, the 16 most popular stitches are shown on the screen. To select your stitch, press the desired stitch pattern key on the screen. Your stitch selection will appear on the top corner of the screen. The top right-hand corner will show the recommended foot to be used. Stitch width, stitch length, and thread tension adjustment is easy on your MemoryCraft 10,000. Select Pattern 2, Straight Stitch, with left needle position. Press the Adjust key and the Adjusting window opens. Press the plus or minus keys to change settings of the needle drop position and stitch length. Preset values for stitch width, length, and thread tension are optimized for all patterns. The thread tension is computer controlled and fully automatic. And you can always change any of the settings to suit your sewing needs. 
Press OK key to save your settings, or press Cancel key to close the adjusting window without saving any changes. The seam guidelines on the needle plate help you to measure your seam allowance. Select Pattern 1, Straight Stitch with Center Needle Position. Place the edge of the fabric against the guideline. Sew your seam while guiding the fabric edge along the guideline. Press the Start Stop button to stop the machine. The needle automatically stops in the up position. At the end of the seam, you can press the reverse button to secure the seam with backstitching. When you press the reverse button for the straight stitch or the zigzag stitch, the machine will continue to sew in reverse while the button is being pressed. When you press the reverse button for any other stitch, the machine will immediately lock off on the spot and stop sewing. Alternatively, to secure a seam, you can press the Auto Lock button and the machine will continue to sew to the end of the pattern, then sew locking stitches and stop automatically. For automatic locking at the beginning of seams, you can select either the Lock-O-Matic stitch number 3 or the Locking stitch number 4. Stitch number 3 will automatically reverse and sew forward at the beginning of a seam. Stitch number 4 will lock off on the spot at the beginning of a seam. When your seam is complete, raise the presser foot, draw your fabric to the left, and cut the threads using the thread cutter on the side of your machine. Your sewing speed can be controlled by the speed control lever. To increase the speed, slide the lever to the right. To decrease the speed, slide the lever to the left. This extra control is especially useful when sewing very thick fabrics. Another special feature for sewing convenience is the extra lift of the presser foot. When placing thicker fabric under the foot, push up hard on the presser foot lifter. This will give a much higher lift, allowing extra clearance for those thicker fabrics such as coating or quilting. Select stitch number 8 and then press the Adjust key. Zigzag stitch has a preset width of 5 mm and a length of 1.5 mm. As with all patterns, you can alter the stitch width and length to suit your sewing needs simply by pressing the plus and minus keys. Reducing the stitch length to less than 1.0 will allow you to sew very dense zigzag stitches like the satin stitches. Press the default key to return the settings to their preset values and to return to the previous window. When top stitching on tailored garments such as suits and coats, use pattern 5, the triple stretch stitch.
Place your fabric under the presser foot with the edge of the foot along the fabric edge. To move the needle to the right, press the adjust key and press with plus key to 7 to move the needle position to the right. Press OK key to save the setting and to return to the previous window. Keeping the edge of the foot level with the edge of the fabric, sew. This will help to keep your stitch line straight. When using thicker threads for top stitching, it's advisable to use a top stitch needle and a finer thread in the bobbin. Neat finished edges on garments are very important. The Memory Craft 10,000 is equipped with four different types of these stitches to suit all kinds of fabrics. Select the double over edge stitch number 12. The visual touch screen will show the correct foot to be used. In this case, foot C. To change the foot, lift the presser foot and press the red button on the rear of the foot holder. The sewing foot will drop off. Each foot is identified by a letter marked on it. After selecting the correct foot, place it under the foot holder and lower the presser foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Place the fabric against the black guide and on the foot and sew your seam. This overedge stitch is excellent for woven fabrics which tend to fray, such as linens, gabardines, and denims, giving a strong seam and finishing the edge of the fabric. For lightweight fabrics, select the overlock stitch number 13. The visual touch screen will show the correct foot to be used. In this case, the overcasting foot M. Once again, Place the fabric edge against the black guide on the foot and sew. This stitch is similar to a commercial overlock stitch and will give your seam a professional finish. Accurate buttonholes are essential and your Memory Craft 10,000 has a selection of 11 styles to choose from. Press the buttonhole stitch key and the buttonhole window opens. Numbers 17 to 27 are all sensor buttonholes. Number 18 is an automatic buttonhole. To sew a sensor buttonhole, First select the style suitable for your garment and its buttons and attach the automatic buttonhole foot R. Pull the button holder to the back and place the button in it. Close it up so that the button sits firmly in place. Pull the buttonhole lever downwards as far as it will go. To take the needle thread through the hole in the foot, First place a piece of fabric under the foot and press the up-down needle button twice. Remove the fabric to the left to draw the needle thread out through the hole in the foot. Insert your fabric, lower the presser foot and press the start-stop button. The machine sews a buttonhole and will stop automatically when finished. It will take about 10 seconds to complete the buttonhole while the visual touch screen displays its sewing steps.
The buttonhole is now complete. To sew another buttonhole, raise the presser foot, slide the fabric to the next buttonhole position, and press the Start Stop button. This applies to buttonholes 17 to 23. Width and density of buttonhole can be varied by pressing the adjust key and by pressing the stitch width and length plus and minus keys. Press pattern 18. Buttonhole number 18 allows you to sew buttonholes for uniquely shaped or larger buttons when the sensor buttonholes would not be suitable and when more versatility is needed. Using the presser foot R, extend the button holder to the rear as far as it will go. Mark the desired length of buttonhole on your fabric and place the fabric under the foot. Lower the foot and pierce the needle at the position where sewing is to start. The buttonhole lever should be in the up position. Sew along the left side at the end of the marked buttonhole length. Press the reverse button and continue sewing until you are directly opposite the first stitch on the left hand side. Press the reverse button again. Continue sewing until the machine automatically stops sewing. Your buttonhole is now complete and the buttonhole size is memorized. To repeat the same size buttonhole, follow the instructions on the screen. Pin tucking can be used as a decorative finish on most types of fabric. Using the cloth guide, variations in pin tuck width can easily be achieved. To use the cloth guide, insert these pins into the carriage to attach it. The cloth guide will automatically be set 15 millimeters or 5 eighths of an inch from the center needle position. To set the cloth guide to another position, press the plus or minus keys to move it to your desired position. Press the cloth guide minus key to reduce the setting to one millimeter or one sixteenth of an inch. When the position is set, press OK key. Attach the foot A. Select straight stitch number one. Fold the fabric in bias with the wrong sides together and place the fold against the cloth guide. This setting is for a very narrow pin tuck. Press the start stop button and sew to the end of the seam. For wider pin tucks, press the cloth guide plus key to set the desired width. Press the satin stitch mode key to open the satin stitch window. Now select pattern number 36. The correct foot to be used is satin stitch foot F. Patterns 34 to 44 are all satin stitch patterns which can be elongated up to five times their preset length. Patterns 32 and 33 are stitch patterns for cording. 
An elongated satin stitch is ideal for larger, bolder embroidery designs, especially when making table and bed linens. Select the desired pattern, then press the Adjust key and press the Elongation Plus key to increase the size until the size required is attained. Press OK key to register the new settings and return to the previous screen. Because the width and length of the pattern can also be adjusted using the stitch width or length plus or minus keys, this gives you tremendous flexibility with your designs. Your MemoryCraft 10,000 is the first machine to offer another remarkable and unique sewing feature for your convenience. It's called Sewing Application. Sewing Application provides screen guidance and all the information necessary for 12 useful sewing applications to get you sewing right away. Press the Sewing Application key and the navigation window shows all the 12 available applications. Seaming, Over Edge, Blind Hem, Rolled Hem, Zipper Sewing, Gathering, Basting, Button Sewing, Tacking, Applique, Patchwork, and Quilting. Let's take a look at Patchwork. Press the Patchwork key. The Patchwork window opens. You have a choice of three patchwork stitch patterns to choose from. Select Locking Stitch. The top of the screen displays the pressure dial setting at 2, the thread tension at Auto, and the suitable presser foot, the quarter inch seam foot O. The stitch length plus and minus keys are conveniently located on the same window to save time while changing stitch length. An angle scale on the needle plate makes it easy to sew your patchwork at angles of 45, 60, 90, and 120 degrees without marking on the fabric. Raise the presser foot lifter and attach quarter inch seam foot O. The knee lifter is extremely helpful when making patchwork or quilting since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. Attach the knee lifter by matching the ribs on the lifter with the notches in the machine's knee lifter socket and inserting. Push the knee lifter with your knee to easily move the presser foot up and down. You can control the height of the foot by varying the amount of knee pressure. Place the fabrics with their right sides together. Lower the presser foot and sew from the starting point to the ending point. Guide the fabric along the edge of the black guide of the foot to maintain a precise quarter inch seam allowance. You can memorize a seam length to sew other patches in the same length. With your MemoryCraft 10,000, you can program as many as 100 patterns in one file and save up to 100 files in the memory bank of the machine. Let's try creating and saving a monogram in the ordinary sewing mode. Press the monogram key on the main menu of the ordinary sewing mode. Press the font key and select Symbol. Press OK. Press the heart key and you'll see it up on the top screen as the first character of your monogram. Press the font key again and select Block. Press OK. 
a block style alphabet will appear on the screen. Press the S key. Next, press the upper lower case key to select lowercase letters. Press the I, N, G, I, N, and G. Each letter is automatically memorized after its key is pressed. It says, heart sign, singing. To edit or delete letters in the monogram or pattern combination, move the cursor forward or backward by pressing the arrow keys. Any letter or pattern that is underlined by the cursor is easily deleted by pressing the trash key. Let's practice. Press the left arrow key and move it under the first eye of singing. Press the trash key. The eye is deleted. The cursor is now under the N. Press the trash key. The N is deleted. The cursor is now under the G. Press the trash key, and the G is deleted. It now says, heart sign, sing. Sew your combination by pressing the start-stop button, and the machine will sew and stop automatically when finished. For some sewing work, you may require a longer free arm. Simply press the set key on the bottom of the screen, the ordinary sewing key, and then the free arm length key on the right. The embroidery carriage automatically moves away from the free arm to give you more working space. Press exit key, and then press the yes key in the pop-up window to set the free arm length. After sewing, press Set Key and the Ordinary Sewing Key and the Free Arm Length Key on the left to return the carriage. Press the Exit Key and then press the Yes Key in the pop-up window to return the carriage to the original position. Your Memory Craft 10,000 is equipped with professional-style embroidery, which opens up a whole new world of sewing pleasure. Beautiful embellishments and those beautiful outfits. The pretty patterns for the dresses a little girl dreams of. Beautiful bed linens and table linens can be personalized by your own monograms. The designs are endless. Beautiful designs are built in and also available by use of your PC cards. Press the Embroidery Mode key. The Embroidery Mode has five sewing choices available. Let's look at their windows. The built-in Embroidery Designs mode is first on the left, then Monogramming mode, PC card Embroidery Designs mode, Design Card Reader Mode, and Editing Mode. First, we'll sew a built-in Embroidery Design Mode. Always allow sufficient clearance behind your machine before embroidery sewing, and make sure to use a Janome blue tip needle. Remove the foot holder and attach the embroidery foot P with the screwdriver.
Please remember that when working in the embroidery mode, the foot control cannot be used. Use high quality Janome embroidery threads. It's also important to use an appropriate stabilizer to obtain perfectly formed stitches. Loosen the screw on the outer hoop and place it on a flat surface. Mark the center lines of your embroidery designs on the fabric with tailor's chalk or an erasable marker. Place the inner hoop and the fabric over the outer hoop and push down. Tighten the screw of the outer hoop. To attach the embroidery hoop to the machine, lift the presser foot lifter and slide the hoop onto the presser foot. Never use the hoops for the Memory Craft 9000. Pass the needle thread down through the hole in the embroidery foot and guide the end of the thread around the thread holder on the front side of the thread cutter. Select the built-in embroidery pattern 5. The carriage will move outwards into the starting position for embroidery. The screen shows the design's parts and their sequence numbers, the color code for thread, the presser foot to use, sewing time, number of colors needed, the embroidery's actual measurements, and the proper hoop to use. The starting position of the embroidery design can be adjusted by using the jog keys in the left-hand corner of the screen. Lower the presser foot and press the start-stop button to sew the first part of the design. After sewing five or six stitches, press the start-stop button again to stop the machine. Raise the presser foot and cut off the loose top thread end at the start of the stitching. Lower the foot. Press the start stop button and while the machine is sewing the first part, the screen will show you how many stitches have been completed so far. Once the first color is sewn, the machine will stop automatically for you to change to the next thread color. When the part is completed, cut the thread and change to the last thread color. When threading, always raise the presser foot. Lower the presser foot again and press the start stop button to sew the rest of the design. If your thread breaks or runs out during sewing, your machine will stop. The part that's being sewn is always highlighted on the screen. After sewing is finished, the machine will automatically stop. Raise the presser foot and cut the threads. Remove the hoop from the machine. To sew embroidery designs from your PC card, insert your PC card, making sure that the arrow on the label is in front of you. Push the card straight in until the red mark on the eject button appears. With card 1001 inserted, select the PC card designs key and follow the same steps as you do with built-in embroidery. To remove your PC card, press the eject button. Your PC card can then be removed.
The Memory Craft 10,000 is the very first sewing machine capable of connecting to a personal computer with a USB cable. USB connecting cables are remarkable for their speed and for their wide usage and application. It's easy to connect your Memory Craft 10,000 to your computer following these simple steps. First, make sure to turn on the machine before making any connections to your computer. Connect the USB cord to your computer first. When using a USB connection, you must have a computer with Windows 98 or 2000 operating system. Select PC Link Mode key on the bottom of your screen. When you press the PC Link Mode key, the machine is ready to connect with your computer and you will see the USB connection indicated on the visual touch screen. In this example, we are sending embroidery design data from your computer to your memory craft 10,000. When the connection has been established and data transfer is complete, the images of design transferred will be displayed in the PC Link window. Press the Page Forward key to view the designs on the next page. It's easy to upload or download embroidery design data from your Memory Craft 10,000 to your computer. With the wide range of modern fabrics now available and the modern sewing techniques to be used, it is important to use the correct needles. The needle chart can be found in your instruction book too, giving all the correct information regarding needles and fabrics. Check your needles regularly for rough or blunt tips. Blunt needles may cause snags in knit and fine silk fabrics. The designs in your Memory Craft 10,000 on your PC cards and memory cards are made up of thousands of stitches, causing needles to wear out quickly, so it's important to change your needles regularly to retain the quality of your stitches. Good quality thread is essential. Inferior threads can affect the finish quality of your sewing. When using your PC cards or memory cards, always use Janome embroidery thread, the finest thread available. Regular cleaning of your sewing machine is recommended turn the switch off, and unplug your machine. Remove the needle plate. Lift out the bobbin holder and remove it. Clean the bobbin holder and the hook race area. Replace the bobbin holder and needle plate. And then tighten the screw.
We hope this introduction to your MemoryCraft 10,000 will encourage you to expand and to explore all the functions this wonderful machine has to offer. We hope you enjoy many hours of sewing with your MemoryCraft 10,000.